The U.S. and China have been rivals across various domains, from sports and the Olympics, to manufacturing and the quest for global supremacy. This time, the competition has moved to a much smaller yet critically important battlefield, the realm of chips and semiconductor technology. This area is pivotal for the advancement of modern technologies and has become the latest focal point of their ongoing strategic contest. The semiconductor industry holds a crucial place in our world, shaping the fabric of our daily lives, the economy, and the future of technology. Semiconductors, or chips, are the hidden intellect inside virtually all modern electronic devices we rely on every day. From the moment you check your smartphone in the morning, which could contain up to 100 different chips, to the car you drive, which now includes advanced driver assistance systems reliant on semiconductors for safer and more efficient operation, these tiny components are indispensable. Furthermore, semiconductors are at the heart of breakthroughs in technology. They are essential for the development of cutting-edge innovations such as artificial intelligence, which is transforming industries from healthcare to entertainment, electric vehicles that are setting the course for a more sustainable future, and renewable energy systems that promise cleaner energy alternatives. China, as one of the founding nations of BRICS blocks, is the world's largest semiconductor market, representing 31.4% of worldwide final sales, or 180 billion US dollars, out of 574 billion US dollars in 2022. China is leading the charge in semiconductor industry expansion, with its chip manufacturers expected to start operations of 18 projects in 2024. This expansion is fueled by government funding and incentives, aiming for a 13% year-on-year capacity growth to 8.6 million wafers per month in 2024. China is rapidly growing its semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, aiming to become self-sufficient and produce up to 25% of the world's semiconductors by 2030. Among many companies, Huawei is actively involved in semiconductor chip manufacturing, with its high silicon subsidiary designing chips that are manufactured by Chinese company SMIC. China has positioned Huawei and SMIC at the forefront of its initiative for semiconductor self-reliance, allowing Huawei to significantly influence semiconductor policymaking in the country. This strategic move is part of China's broader efforts to advance its semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, despite US export controls aimed at restricting access to advanced technology. To address its concerns with China, the U.S. has implemented the Chips and Science Act of 2022, providing substantial support to boost domestic semiconductor manufacturing and R&D. Additionally, tighter export restrictions to China have been enforced to safeguard technological advances. The Chips Act, now law, allocates $52.7 billion in federal subsidies to bolster the U.S. semiconductor industry, addressing supply chain disruptions and enhancing competitiveness. It emphasizes building semiconductor fabrication plants with funds also supporting research development and workforce development. However, recipients face restrictions against expanding manufacturing in China, or countries deemed a security threat to the US. The story does not end here. In May, Japan heightened restrictions on the export of 23 types of semiconductor manufacturing equipment, surpassing the initial limitations set by the United States. While the U.S. targeted the export of tools essential for producing state-of-the-art chips, specifically those at the 14 nanometer generation or smaller, Japan broadened its restrictions to include equipment used in making older, less sophisticated chip generations down to the 45 nanometer level. This broader scope has raised concerns within the Chinese semiconductor industry about potential disruptions in the production of fundamental chips utilized in common products, including automobiles. By the end of June, the Netherlands also intensified its export controls, announcing limitations on shipping deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machines to China. These machines are crucial for chip patterning. This move marked a significant expansion beyond previous regulations which, since 2019, had only restricted the export of the most advanced extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines. In response to the U.S. CHIPS Act, China has elevated its commitment to semiconductor self-reliance and technological sovereignty, seeing no alternative but to move from a market-based to a security-based national innovation system. This strategic shift emphasizes attacking technological bottlenecks and conquering core technologies as a top priority. However, past initiatives similar to this approach have led to economic distortions and inefficiencies, raising concerns about the long-term viability and effectiveness of such a strategy. 
As Citigroup reported, the U.S. strategy could in fact strengthen Beijing's determination to achieve tech self-reliance and could backfire on its own IC companies. India is actively working to enhance its position in the global semiconductor manufacturing race. With the construction of India's first semiconductor fabrication plant, announced by the Israel-based International Semiconductor Consortium, along with a $19.5 billion investment from Indian conglomerate Vedanta, and Taiwanese manufacturer Foxconn, for semiconductor and display production plants in Gujarat, India aims to become a key player in the semiconductor industry. The country's semiconductor consumption is projected to exceed $80 billion by 2026. Despite these ambitious plans, challenges such as bureaucratic dysfunction, water and energy supply issues may hinder India's ability to compete on the international stage. In the Middle East, Oman, along with the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, is making strides to enter the semiconductor industry. The World Semiconductor and Chip Summit, hosted in Oman aims to attract investment in this sector. These countries are leveraging their existing technological investments to add value to the semiconductor industry, aiming to diversify their economies and reduce dependency on oil. However, the entire region faces challenges due to the global chip shortage and production decreases resulting from geopolitical tensions. Looking beyond these regions, the semiconductor industry at large is preparing for a robust recovery in 2024 with an expected global sales increase of 13% to $588 billion. This recovery is notably driven by the rebound of the memory chip market, alongside growth in PC and smartphone sales, which are critical end markets for semiconductors. Intel Corporation, Samsung Electronics Company Lutid, Qualcomm Incorporated, Micron Technology Inc., and SK Hynix Inc. are among the major players contributing to the semi-consolidated nature of the semiconductor industry. These companies are leveraging strategies like partnerships and acquisitions to enhance their product portfolios and secure competitive advantages. IDC forecasts a promising outlook with an anticipated annual growth rate of 20% for the semiconductor market in 2024. This growth is attributed to the surging global demand for AI and high-performance computing HPC, alongside stabilization in demand for smartphones, personal computers, infrastructure, and growth in the automotive sector. The semiconductor industry stands as a cornerstone of the 21st century, powering essential technologies across various sectors, including machinery, automobiles, and communications. Its pivotal role makes competition fierce, with leading nations holding significant sway over global technological and economic landscapes. This raises an intriguing question about the potential impact of the Global South in this highly competitive sector. The ongoing competition in semiconductor technology could significantly shape the future of the digital and virtual world, highlighting its critical importance. Unlike previous contests, the outcome of this battle is less predictable, with far-reaching implications for global leadership in this key 21 saint century sector. As technology continues to evolve, the world watches closely to see which nation will emerge as the dominant force in the semiconductor industry. We hope you found this video informative. We have one question for you. Share your thoughts on Global South's role in the semiconductor industry in the comments below.